Now I have a great dish for you, uh, Irish fillet of beef with carrot puree, scented with star anise and truffle with some Roscoff onion. I'm going to start the uh, pot on high. Carrot and orange is a great combination. Most of the flavour in lemon, lime or orange is in the rind. One of my favourite ingredients is uh, star anise. It's got a kind of a, like a, almost like a licorice flavour. A little cloth, muslin cloth in there. I just put the uh, star anise in I put it into the uh, juice. In there you go. Bring the heat down to quite low and we let that simmer very gently for at least one hour. I haven't seasoned this now, I'm going to season it at the end. I think it's better. I'm going to season it now, it reduces so if I get too strong. So the water's boiling straight in there, a little salt in there already. I want to get this pan quite hot because what I want to do with these onions, and it kind of goes against your instincts, you want to blacken them. So we just put them in a nice pan here, non-stick frying pan, a little vegetable oil. These baby carrots, I'm going to take them off now. That they're, about, they're about two minutes in the pan. So we have the onions on, carrots on. I'm going to make a little um, sauce for the um, cabbage. I have some shallot, peeled. Just go along the onion. So you have a nicely fine dice. So a little bit of butter. The shots go in here. I have a little uh, truffle oil here. Um, you can get that, not essential, but just to give a more intense flavor of the truffles. So we'll put a little bit of that in, because a little bit goes a long way. It's very strong. So a little bit of cream in here. That's my truffle cream sauce ready for the cabbage. Into boiling water, two minutes, strain the boiling water off and refresh in iced water or run some cold water on top. So now the onions are nicely blackened. I just want to give them a couple of minutes in the oven at about 100 degrees for two minutes. A few tips to cook a perfect steak. So oil goes in. Second thing is this beef has been out of the fridge for at least half an hour. So let's go. It should take about two to three minutes on each side of the obvious. So let's take it over. Now I put some uh, cracked black pepper, a little salt. This I'm gonna put in the oven for just a two minutes, just to uh, make sure it's warm through. This cabbage here, just straight in. So we have our Roscoff onions. There we have it, I think that looks really nice. Our beef. Next real important tip with any beef is let it rest. Always let the food rest at least three or four minutes. Nice warm plate is key. Our cabbage in the truffle with the shallot. Put a little bit on the plate here, the center probably. Our Roscoff onions, like so. Our baby carrots. So our beef, which is nicely rested. As you can see, I did a rare, but of course, if you want it, uh, go medium rare, medium, medium, well, well done. Just leave it longer in the oven. And we have some fresh truffle. Uh, this is a winter truffle, we are using. And uh, just over the top. So there you have a uh, lovely dry aged fillet of beef with a uh, carrot and star anise puree. Some baby carrots, uh, Roscoff onions blackened with some fresh truffle.